Let's talk about how to trigger samples in Live. Live's basic package includes a basic sampler, a device called Simpler. To load a Simpler device, first we want to create a MIDI track. Let's go to the Create menu and select Insert MIDI Track. Then we'll go to Live's device browser, and under the Instruments folder, we find the Simpler device. We can drag this onto the MIDI track, just like we would an insert effect on an audio track. And you can see the device appears here in the track view. The simpler device has a number of controls, but there's this big panel here that prompts you to drop a sample here. Let's go to our browser, pick out a sample, and drag it into the location. You'll see Live loads up the sample, and now, by playing a key on our MIDI keyboard, we can trigger the sample within Live. Maybe we want to add some effects to that. Maybe some reverb for that one. Let's go, go ahead and hear that in time with one of our audio tracks. See how that would be useful. Keep in mind you can load all sorts of audio samples into the Simpler device. They could be drum hits, explosions, swells, uh, vocal samples, any number of things. So be creative here. Let's take a look at how to set up a MIDI controller to control some of Live's other features. Now, I've got a MIDI controller connected to Live. It's an old Novation Remote 25 that has a number of sliders and knobs that we can assign to any number of features within Live. And assigning them couldn't be any easier. We simply go up to the MIDI button here in the upper right hand corner of Live's interface, click on it, and you see Live's interface changes. We have this new panel that pops up over on the left, and a purple overlay on a lot of the controls in the session window. Here's how we assign an individual MIDI controller, like a knob, to a control within Live. I'll go to the volume fader on audio track one, click on the purple overlay on the box, and simply move the controller on my keyboard. You can see this number pops up along with an entry in this panel over here. What this is is a mapping between the control signal sent from the MIDI keyboard and the controller in live. I'm going to go ahead and assign another fader to the volume control on channel two. I can navigate around and select the EQ. Set a number of features on the EQ, including the low, mid, and high gains, the kills, and the high filter. Now I'll go ahead and do this for the other audio channel as well. I'll also assign the crossfader. Once I've got all of the controllers assigned that I want, I simply go up here and disengage this MIDI assign control. Now that we've assigned a bunch of controllers to control Live's features, let's go ahead and see some of these in action. I'll go ahead and start playback on one of my audio clips. Adjust the filters, and I'll go ahead and start the audio on track two.